In this video, I want to have a look at solving simple interest problems. So a lot of the ones that we've looked at so far have been calculating the interest or the total amount in an account at the end of a time period. In these questions, we're going to be finding some of the other variables. So we might be finding the principal, the rate, or the number of time periods. So still using our same formula, but working backwards to find one of the other variables. Okay, so our first example says Paul invests his savings into an account earning 5.2% simple interest per annum. After three years, he's earned $1,872 interest. And we want to know how much money he invested in the first place. So we're still going to write down our formula. So we've still got I equals PRN. But now we want to figure out what we know. So we've got a 5.2% per annum simple interest rate. So our R is going to be, as a decimal, 0.052. Our number of time periods, it says, is three years. So N is equal to three. And the last thing it tells us is that he's earned $1,872 interest. So that's our I, is 1872. So we know those three values. We're going to substitute those into our formula. So we're going to have 1,872 is equal to P, times 0.052 times 3. So now we're going to simplify this. So we're going to go 0 0.052 times 3. And that 0 0.052 times 3 would give us 0 0.156. So we're still going to have that 1,872 over this side and P times 0 0.156. Now to figure out the value of P, we're going to go this 1,872 divided by this 0 0.156. So P is equal to 1,872 divided by 0 0.156 will give us 12,000 so dollars. Okay, so that is the amount that needed to be invested at the start under those conditions to end up with $1,872 interest. All right, let's have a look at the second question. So it says, after five years, an investment of $8,000 has earned $3,900 interest. And we're asked to calculate the simple interest rate. So the rate is what we're looking for this time. So again, we'll start by writing our formula. I equals PRN. Our principal um, was an investment of $8,000. Our interest was that $3,900. And the number of time periods was back at the start of the question was that five years. So we'll substitute those three values in. So we'll have 3900 equals 8,000 times the rate times five. So again, we'll simplify this down. So we'll go 8,000 times five. will give us 40,000. still times our rate. So then to figure out what the rate is, we're going to go this 3,900 divided by the 40,000. So we're trying to get the R on its own. We're trying to get rid of this 40,000. So we're going to divide by 40,000. So R is going to be 3,900 divided by 40,000. To give us 0 0.0975. So that's as a decimal, but because we want our rate as a percentage, we're going to multiply that by 100, which would give us 9.75%. All right, our last question sets for how many years will $4,200 need to be invested to earn $400 interest if the interest rate is 2.5% per annum? So this time we're finding the number of time periods. So we'll write our formula, I equals PRN. We've got our um, principal of 4,200, our interest of $400, and our number of, oops, sorry, no, our interest rate of 2.5%, so that's 0 0.025. And we're trying to find that N. So we'll sub everything in. So 400 
4,200 times 0 0.025 times n. Again, simplify this bit first. Would give us 105. And then to get that n on its own, we're going to divide by 105. So n equals 400 divided by 105. Would give us about 3.8. And that would be 3.8 years. So it's always important when we're doing questions like this that we look back at the answers we've got and decide whether they make sense, decide whether they're reasonable. So if we were looking at this question down the bottom, for example, and we ended up with something like 200 years, that's not really reasonable for somebody to invest money for. It's not a reasonable time period. Or if we had a rate and we ended up with something like 4,000%, again, that doesn't really make sense. So we're always looking to see how reasonable our answers are. So that's a few examples of simple interest problems where we need to work backwards.